This is the beginning of the strain gauge replacement procedure. The first thing we have to do is go into utilities. We're going to click on, on we have to get into system maintenance. That's the upper right, upper left, upper right. You'll get system maintenance. Click on system maintenance. You're going to go to diagnostics. Platform actuator. What we're going to do here is bring the platform all the way down until the motor stalls. This will help us remove the platform to get to the strain gauge. Next we're going to remove the four bolts on the platform. There's four of them. There are washers under each bolt that has to come out with each of the bolts. There's the washer that comes with the bolt. Try to keep them together. We don't want the washer ending up underneath the platform. Remove all four bolts, then we're ready to flip the platform off of the base. Next, we're going to remove the strain gauge board. There's four connectors for the strain gauges. We're going to disconnect each one of those connectors. There's two screws that mount the strain gauge board to the platform. We're going to unscrew those. Strain gauge board can be dismounted with the four screws on the back of it. Remove those and install the new strain gauge board. We're going to install the, the new strain gauge board. It's mounted on the two brackets. I'm going to position it on the platform. I'm going to click, click in the four strain gauges, same order that you remove them. Reattach the board to the platform, being careful not to pinch any of the wires. Mount the two screws on the platform. securely fasten the board to the platform. Once the new strain gauge board is installed, we can take the platform and return it onto the balance machine. Carefully lift up and position, the, position it on to the, uh, onto the platform. You're going to make sure you have your washer and bolt and replace each of the four bolts back into the, uh, into the platform. Once this is done, then you'll do a strain gauge calibration. Now we're going to do a strain gauge calibration procedure. You're going to click on Utilities. You have to hit the uh, upper right, upper left, upper right to get into System Maintenance. Once you're in System Maintenance, you're going to click on Diagnostics. The bottom one says Strain Gauges. Click on that. 
and this is where we do the strain gauge calibration. The next step is to zero out the strain gauges. The way we do this, uh, we take the cover off. There are two bolts that are, are uh, tie strapped to the unit. There's two bolts within this package. There's a larger bolt with a um, flathead and a smaller bolt. We're going to take the larger bolt, you put that into the center of the platform, screw it down. You're going to tighten it until you feel that the uh, platform comes off of the strain gauges. It lifts off the strain, just tighten it down as much as you can and you can feel that there's no tension on the strain gauges at all. At that point, we're going to go to the display and there is a offset. We're going to click on offset. It's going to start an automatic process of zeroing out the strain gauges. It will go through each strain gauge and then um, when you get the green box for the offset, you're finished. You turn green over here and you have zero, you're pretty much all zero. At this point, we're going to do a mechanical strain gauge adjustment. We're going to remove the screw that we used for zeroing out the strain gauges. We're going to take out that center screw, remove that completely. On the display, we're going to be working with the AGC section over here on the left hand side of the display. We're going to actually move the the counts up and down until you read 100. Manually set that for 100. As you're going down, the counts will go up. We set that to 100, exactly. Then on the platform, we're going to take an Allen key and we're going to insert it at the 12 o'clock position. And you're going to adjust just look at this display and adjust up and down until all the counts are within 25 counts of each other. Try to balance them out. You can see that they are within 25 counts of each other and you're finished with that section. The next step is uh, we're going to do a load calibration. The second screw that's in, that's wrapped around the uh, unit is a quarter 20 flathead screw that's going to go into the center of the platform. You're going to insert it in there and we're going to tighten it down while looking at the display. We're looking for a count, a total count of 2200 in the lower right hand corner you're going to tighten that screw. This is simulating weight on the platform. So I'm tightening it down. You can see the weight, the count starting to go up. I'm going to continue to tighten it until I get to 2200. Right around 2200. At that point, you're going to click on gain. It will zero out. And we wait for the gain button to go green. At that point, we are uh, the load calibration is complete. At that point, you're going to um, remove the screw from the center of the platform. The next step is zeroing out the platform weight. We want to make sure nothing's on the platform during this test. This is the last part of this uh, calibration. We're going to click on platform. It will automatically adjust. When it's finished calibrating, the platform will turn green on the screen. And this will complete the 
uh, strain gauge calibration. At this point, you can click on the back button four times, and you're ready to test. Now we're going to test the gauges to make sure everything's working all right and that we have proper cursor movement. We're going to click on training, postural stability, just click next and click on start. Lean on the platform, left and right, up and down. Make sure that the cursor moves nice and uh, to both ends, all the way. Just make sure that we have movement in all four directions. This completes the strain gauge calibration.